Today's lesson in Ray's Arithmetic is in the multiplication section in our book. We're continuing with that, and we're going to go to lesson number 42, which is what our Roman numeral is trying to tell us, 42, and that's going to be about the number 4. So you're going to see the number 4 in all of our lessons today. So you ready to get started? All right, let's do that. Well, the first one is going to be 4 times 1 is 4. That's kind of an easy one. 4 times 1 is 4. Now, how many would 2 times 4 be? 2 times 4, that's what? That's 8. About 4 times 2. All we're doing is switching the 4 and the 2 around, and we should get the same answer. 4 times 2 is also 8. Let's do 3 times 4. 3 times 4, how many is that? That would be 12. How many is 4 times 3? Well, it should be the same as 3 times 4, shouldn't it? And that is 12 also. How many would be... Let's do 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is what? 4 times 4 is 16. And there's no point in switching those around because they're the same number. How about 4 times 5? 4 times 5 is how many? That's 20. And 5 times 4... But it better be 20 as well, and it is. About 4 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24. And 6 times 4, lo and behold, is also 24. How about 4 times 7? 4 times 7 is 28. So that would mean 7 times 4 is also 28. All right, let's do a couple more of these. Let's do 4 times 8. 4 times 8 is 32. These numbers are getting higher, aren't they? 8 times 4 will also be 32. How about 4 times 9? 4 times 9 is 36. So 9 times 4 is also 36. Now let's do one more pair of these. How about 4 times 10? That's going to be, what do you think? 4 times 10 is, you got it right, 40. How about 10 times 4? Of course, that's also 40. All right. Well, let's do some story problems now. In our first one, we got Lucy, who has two kittens, kitty cats. Do you like cats? Yeah, I like them, sort of. We've got one, and... Uh, I'd be happy to give it away if you want a cat. But let's get back to our problem. Lucy has two kittens, and each one has four feet. Well, we already knew that. Cats have four feet, don't they? How many feet do both kittens have? So that's basically asking two times four. We got two kittens, and each kitten has four feet. Well, how many feet are there between both kittens? Two times four is eight feet. Eight paws with a whole lot of claws. Thomas has got three pigeons, and James has four times as many. How many does James have? So Thomas has three pigeons, and James has four times that many. So how many pigeons does James have? Well, he has three times four, doesn't he? Three times four is what? Is that 12? So he's got 12 pigeons. That's a whole lot of birds. Um, Daniel bought four tops at four cents each. What did they each cost? What did, no, what did they all cost? So he bought four tops, and they each cost four cents. They were four cents apiece. How much did he pay for all four tops? Well, four times four should tell us that, shouldn't it? Four times four is what? Is 16. 16 cents. And let's see, what else are we going to go shopping for? Let's go get some rice. Rice is four cents a pound. How much will five pounds of rice be? Four cents a pound. And we got five pounds. So we multiply four times five. That'll tell us how much that rice is going to cost. How much is four times five? Four times five is 20. So that five pounds of rice at four cents a pound costs 20 cents altogether. All right, let's go to the fruit section and get some apples. Well, we're going to not only get some apples, we're going to cut up apples. 
we've got in one apple there are four quarters. Did you know that? If you take an apple and you cut it in half, and you take each of those halves and you cut it those in half, you've got what? You've got four quarters, don't you? Well, one apple has four quarters in it. So how many quarters are there in six apples? So let's see. So we've got four quarters in one apple. When you cut it up in four equal pieces, that's four quarters. How many of those quarters would make up six apples? So if we cut up six apples the same way, we've got how many quarters all together? Four times six is what? 24 quarters of apples. All right. Better eat them before they turn brown, huh? Let's see. We go from apples to oranges, naturally. Francis bought seven oranges at four cents each. So seven oranges at four cents each. Um, well, what did they cost altogether? Seven times four is what? Is 28. 28 cents altogether. Alrighty, how about some peaches that are sold at four cents a piece? How much will eight peaches cost? So peaches are four cents each. How many, how much would eight peaches cost? How many cents? Well, four times eight is how many? Four times eight is 32 cents. Alrighty, let's go get some starch. Somebody's doing some cooking in the kitchen. A pound of starch costs nine cents. What will four pounds cost of starch? Well, if starch is nine cents a pound, let me make my nine over. Nine cents a pound, and we buy four pounds, how much does that cost altogether? Nine times four is what? Nine times four is 36. 36 cents. Alrighty, let's do one more of these. At 10 cents a piece, what will be the cost of four lead pencils? So if each lead pencil costs 10 cents, how much will it be if we buy four of those? Four lead pencils at 10 cents each will be what? 10 times 4, and that's how much? Ta-da! It's 40 cents for four lead pencils. Okay. Well, that's all for Lesson 42. We'll go on to, uh, naturally, Lesson 43 next time. That's going to be about the number 5. We're going to do some more multiplication. And we're going to use the number five next time we get together. So we'll see you at our next lesson. Bye-bye.